Hey yo, what's up broskies? It's so nerd. I am back in the cursed land of TikTok. I made a TikTok art challenge video like a month ago or something, and I want to do another one, so here we are. Also because there's so many other art challenges that I haven't done. I'm excited to see what's in store, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to do this one. Basically, uh, this person picks an animal, and then they pick a fruit, and then they make it into a creature. They made this uh, lion orange. It's very cute. Seems pretty simple. Let's see. What's an animal that I like? I like cats, but that's kind of basic. I say that as Mochi is sitting on my lap. I'm gonna do a turtle boy, and the fruit can be watermelon. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I drew a watermelon in the last video. Well, you know what? You can never have too much watermelon. The little tongue gonna be sticking out. Part of him's gonna be missing, like a like a watermelon slice. If you're wondering who did it, it was me. I ate it. It was refreshing. I just have a tendency to make all of my creations suffer. And myself. He will now become one with the melon. Oh no, no, this is making me feel sad. Yeah, guys, this is part of the photos taken before disaster series. His fate Ooh. awaits him. But yeah, this is my sad watermelon turtle creature thing. Please give him a name in the comments. All right, so for this one, I'm going to be doing a challenge where this person uses this really weird looking filter that's moving uh, right. while you're drawing. And you have to draw while the filter is on. And it looks really funny. I, I don't know how they did that. I'm scared. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna draw a cool duck. Okay, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is so, bro. bro. <laughs> that doesn't look like a duck. Oh, this looks more like an <laughs> anteater. Dude, stop moving. I can't even see. Why is his leg so big? No. Two hours later. Okay, <laughs> that went terribly wrong. Let's try this again. Okay, now I'm gonna do Sans. Okay, I got this. Let's go, Sans. Let's go. Oh, uh, that looks like Squidward. Oh, no. You know, he looks pretty good so far, not gonna lie. Not bad at all. Actually, no, I lied to myself. That's pretty bad. Why is one of your legs so much bigger than the other? Slippers. Okay. Sans is looking pretty attractive. I'm done with this filter. So there's also another really funny TikTok filter that I'm gonna be using. Uh, they just really wacky looking filter and it's like moving all over the place. So let's do that one. Let's do Sonic the Hedgehog this time. Gotta go fast. Oh, that's a noodle. Oh my god. Whoa, okay. This this isn't Sonic. Nope. Okay, this one looks way worse. What? I can't even do this. This is literally what my hair looks like when I wake up. Literally, look at this. Oh my, oh my god. He's a ghost. He died. His legs are going to be in the air because he's running very fast. I'm going to color him now. I, I literally don't even know what's happening. Okay, this is obviously the best drawing I have ever made in my existence. Looks like the arm just popped out of the socket and it's flailing behind him. Okay, so with this challenge, you draw one art piece in four different styles. Like you divide it by four, like a piece of pie or something. So realism, cartoon, anime, and pop art. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, and I'm gonna draw uh, Chara from Undertale because they're cool and also I love Undertale. I'm just gonna do the sketch first. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. Okay, sketch is done. Now for line art. Pretty sure my current style is like a mixture of anime and cartoons. I used to primarily just draw anime though. Right, so I guess for the realistic hair, I'll try to go for like a painting technique. I may not be the best at realism, but I think this hair is coming along really nicely. Ooh, okay, I finally finished the realism part. I'm sure the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. <coughs> Oh, I've been sitting for so long, my butt hurts. Wait a minute, I forgot to give the realistic side a nose. Ugh. Listen, Listen, okay. I'm not really the best at realism as it is, but when it comes to drawing a realistic nose, I cannot. I'm so scared. Okay, so that nose is like one of the worst things that I've seen, but it's not the worst thing that I've seen. That's all I can say. Wait, so how do I do pop art? Pop art. So it's like basically a lot of very bold and dark like shading, like very, very intense, but also very simple at the same time time. It like explodes in your face. I don't know how correctly I'm doing this. Oh my god, I finally finished this. Okay, so over here we got realism, cartoon, anime, and pop art. This took me 
2 hours and 18 minutes. And please let me know your favorite part in the comments. Alright, so basically with this next challenge, you use this TikTok filter that gives you three random emojis and you make a random art piece out of it. Obviously, I'm not showing my face, so... Okay, let's see what I get. Okay, so... Sleepy... Lollipop, yoga, meditation woman. I've never drawn someone in a meditation pose before. So my concept is that she's gonna be like meditating and floating in the air. And she's gonna look all magical. And then she's gonna be uh, holding these lollipops. And her little hair buns are also uh, looking like lollipops. I thought that would be cute. It's probably a good thing that she's in this pose because if she wasn't, she would be choking on this lollipop. <laughs> Putting her on this cloud because clouds are associated with sleep. Actually, speaking of those giant swirly lollipops, I've actually bought in a few of those before from like Dollar Tree or whatever. I've literally never been able to finish one because they're way too big. Alright, she's done. She looks so cool. This turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it would look uh, like more silly or more like a joke, but this actually looks really cool. She's sleeping and meditating with her lollipops. For this next challenge, basically you make the colors of your drawing randomized by choosing a random color palette that's generated online for you. But I'm gonna do it a little bit different than that. I'm on this uh, random site. Please don't give me a virus. And for each part of my drawing, I'm gonna choose one specific color at a time just so that I don't actually know how the colors are going to turn out so that I don't actually know how the colors are going to turn out and as I'm putting these colors I'm going to put a gray filter over everything so that I can't see what it looks like till I remove the filter at the end. I'm drawing Hatsune Miku because I love her. Give her some horns and a devil tail. Okay I finally finished the line art. So now it is time to put our filter. There we go we're not going to be able to see the colors very well. Iterating one color at a time. There's this first color will be our hair color, so we got bright red orange. It's gonna look a lot brighter than this. This is like the one color that I never use. Okay, next this will be our eye color. We got sun yellow, oh. At least both of these go together. Next will be skin color. Graphite gray, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks green with the filter on. Shirt color. Reed green? Never heard of that before. It's like dark baby puke. Oh my god. This is just gonna look terrible. I already know. Alright, skirt. Pearl blackberry. Why am I getting all of these dark colors? Alright, what about her tie? Blue lilac. That is not blue. Whatever, okay, here we go. You know, I'll just make that the color of her tongue too. All right, and lastly, sleeve and boot color. <laughs> this literally looks like dehydrated feet. Oh my God, how did this turn out this bad? Okay, so now I'm gonna do some shading real fast. All right, I already know it looks terrible, but taking the filter off, moment of truth. Oh my, oh my God, my eyes. <laughs> oh, oh my, this is way worse than I thought. What the heck? You know, I thought the color palette would turn out at least decent, but I'm convinced this is just the worst possible color palette I could have gotten. I'm so sorry, Miku. Anyways, rate Miku's color palette in the comments, guys. Alright, so for this one, this dude uh, attempts to draw with his fingers. Uh, obviously, he's doing it on paper, but I'm gonna be doing it digitally because I don't really do traditional art. So I'm gonna have to download an art app on my phone, which I've never done before. I'm gonna try to draw... A regular girl. Oh my god, this brush is like so chunky. Wait, let me get a different one. The lines are so like wobbly. I am actually trying to make this look decent. She is definitely going through some type of midlife crisis. Okay, I think that's the most I'm able to do with this. Um, like, this didn't turn out terrible or anything, but obviously I don't usually draw this kind of stuff. I just draw, like, pen illustrations of anime girls, not paintings of eyeballs. But I was very limited with this since I'm not used to it. Okay, broskies, I definitely think I've done enough uh, TikTok art challenges today. Let me know your favorite in the comments, and also be sure to let me know if you want me to do another one of these. They're really fun. And yeah, okay, bye!